Hi, my name is Milan and together with Markus we would like to show you the brand new super fast LEGO Technic 24 hours race car. As you've noticed, there are many elements that come in new light green color that was never used before and it's exclusive just to this model. Now Markus is going to show some highlights and functions of the model. Cool, we really try to replicate the shape of a real race car. It's really flat and starting at the front you can see we have a spoiler and big headlights for driving during the night in a 24 hour race. You see the aerodynamic shape with cool racing stickers on the side, rear mirrors and a big spoiler in the back. And even have the lights for driving during the night. The model comes with individual suspension for both axles, the front and the back. And as the steering front axle. I can open up the doors like this and there you can see we have a racing seat and a steering wheel in the cabin. If I open up this panel I can show you that we integrated our new gear shifting system in the model. There's a gear switch indicator like this and if I put this one, I have the other function of the model, which is opening up the back of the model, like this. Here you can see there's a V8 engine installed in the model, with cool details for the exhaust. The motor has working pistons, like this, and the motor is driven by a differential, which is placed in the middle of the axle there. And if I turn this wheel, you can also see how the crankshaft is rotating in the bottom of the car. We also try to replicate the flat bottom of a real race car. There are some elements I want to show you. We used again the wheel hub with a three snap on all axles. And of course, our new fender element, which gives a really nice shape over the wheels, which you could not have could not have done before. The model can be upgraded with power functions. I can place the battery box right there, and underneath the gear shifter indicator, I can put the motor. So I can drive the function of the back and the doors with an electric motor. And of course, I can place the lights in the front lights of the model. Mila will show you now how you can rebuild this racing car to a SUV racer. The SUV racer is really different compared to the A model as you can see. It's a lot higher, the whole bodywork is rebuilt completely and the suspension is as well higher and softer so you can overtake some uh, obstacles when you're driving over rough terrain. There are some cool details I would like to highlight. It's the front bumper, the stickers going over the mud carts and as well all over the across the body over the paneling and there are as well some tail lights in the back and through the window you can see space for the cargo that you want to drive around if you open the hood it reveals the v8 engine that is driven by the rear wheels so you can see the pistons moving in the engine you as well have the front axle steering and the full independent suspension on all four wheels. You can as well open the doors on the sides of the cabin to access the steering wheel and the driver's seat. And last but not least, there are two functions operated by the gearbox. One of them opens the back door, so you can easily load and unload anything inside the car because there's plenty of space in it. And the second function, which is my favorite, are the pop-up lights that appear from behind the front bumper. As you can see, it's a really cool movement because there are two things happening at the same time when I turn the gear wheel at the top of the car. Don't forget that you can download the instructions for both models on lego.com. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and as well building the models. And remember to check out our other cool models on lego.com. See you next time. Bye. Bye.